Hi, I'm Dr. Lee Cohen, Philadelphia sports podiatrist and podiatric consultant to the Philadelphia Eagles, Philadelphia 76ers, and the Philadelphia Wings. With me today is Tracy Peel from Fluid Movement. Tracy's an expert on speed, performance, training techniques, how to run properly without getting injured. Tracy, we're going to talk about this minimalistic running, barefoot running. It's a huge craze. Give us the lowdown. Um, barefoot running has gained a lot of popularity based on Chris McDougall's book, Born to Run. And a lot of people are looking to get back to their evolutionary background, try to utilize gravity more in their running technique. How should it be used, uh, and what do you think the best way to get into it is? I think the first thing you need to do is have a thorough evaluation of your running form in its current situation. I think a lot of times people tend to think that Barefoot running is the band-aid to fix their issues. And I think what you need to do is go to a professional like myself or yourself, get evaluated and assessed first, and then we can put you on a program that can lead you to a barefoot running situation. So the main thing you want to understand uh, in running mechanics is that to move, we must fall. It's, a, it's part of being this gravitational system. And the problem with a lot of running mechanics or a lot of runners is that they tend to elongate their stride, they tend to run on their heel, and those are the things that are working against you. And obviously you can see if you're running on your heel and you're barefoot or in a shoe that's uh, very minimalist, then there's a lot of problems that can come from that. Is there, in this short period of time that we have, something or tips or a demonstration you can do here to let us see what we're really talking about with technique? Sure. The drill that I want to demonstrate is called change of support drill. It's the primary position you have to get into to start your running to utilize gravity in, in the very beginning of movement. I'm going to put my right foot down first and put my weight on the ball of my foot. My opposite foot's going to be in the air underneath my hip. This would be the position that you're into called the pose position for running. In doing this drill, I'm shifting my weight from one foot and allowing it to get to the other. What I'm emphasizing in that drill is picking my foot off the ground, not placing a lot of energy into the ground, which would work negatively against me, and allowing my body to be nice and free and open in my movement. So let's take a look at what the progression may be towards safe barefoot running. You may come into my office in a more traditional shoe. This is a, a Nike free shoe, great place to start, as long as your technique is good. You may have an insole in the shoe or an orthotic. What we would like to do with the help of Tracy is gear down to maybe a lighter weight, lighter weight shoe, less control, get the intrinsic muscles or the little muscles of your foot working properly, then move you into an even smaller shoe with less cover, and then eventually get you down to the Vibram Five Fingers that Tracy was wearing in the exercises and in the running. What we learned here today is that minimalistic running or barefoot running is all about technique. Proper technique, you need proper technique to prevent injury. We went through a progression of shoes, we showed you how to get to it, we talked to Tracy and I want to thank Tracy for this. To get to me or to more information, find me at drleecohen.com on, or on Facebook, YouTube, and for Tracy, Tracy Peel. You can reach me directly at Tracy at fluidfactor.net or on Twitter at, at Tracy Peel Speed. Hey, thanks and have a great night. Happy running.